Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Player Particles plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin to create loads of particles either on yourself or fix in a position. So if we do for slash pp help to get started that will show us all of the commands and then if I do pp toggle that's going to toggle on the particles which I had turned off and as you can see here are a few examples of some fixed particles so you can put them in a location and they can do a certain style and effect but if we do for slash pp that's going to open up the GUI and now there's quite a few things in here so up at the top we've got our head it tells us information about our different particles then we can manage our particles to create and edit new ones. So let's go ahead and create one. And we can first of all choose a particle effect. There's two pages, there's a lot of them. Then we can choose a different style. So what's it going to look like? It's going to spiral around us. And then if we go out of the GUI, you can see we now have a spiraling particle around us. So let's go ahead and create another one. Let's go and choose an effect, a style. And then if we back out, we can now see we have a, another particle effect above our head. And then if we want to edit them, we can click onto here. You can shift click to delete. And if you edit, you can change the effect, you can change the style, or you can simply delete them all together. You can also create new groups. So let's go ahead and put these two particle effects in a group, give it a name. And then we could easily come back to it if we delete them and then we can go back to this group or select another group. So you can put loads of different particle effects together, make some really cool groups and easily switch between one and another. So if we go back into it, we can see there are a few more groups. I've created three of them, just giving them random names and random effects. You can obviously make them look better than I have. And then if we go into manage, we can just reset our particles and get rid of all of them. Now, if we go into the preset groups, these are the ones that are set by default in the config file. These ones look much nicer um, and we can have a look at all three of these. So there's a rainbow one. This one's really nice. I, this is probably my favorite one. And then last of all, there is the rain cloud one, which is pretty awesome. There's like a cloud above your head and it's raining. So uh, that's a pretty fun one. So then if we go ahead and reset our particles again, so if we open up the GUI again, we can edit our primary effects. So let's have a look at see which one to pick. We could go for a smoke one, as you can see here. Although I'm not too much of a fan of that, we could change it to an end rod, for example. There we go, that's looking better. And if we open it up again, we can go to the primary style and change how it looks. So we could choose the celebration one, which I think looks pretty awesome, um, right beside us, which is nice. And then some of them, you can edit the primary data and change the color. Uh, for this one, we can't, but if we changed it to ambient, for example, we can go ahead and change the data and set it to either a single color or just random where it's constantly changing. As you can see, it is constantly changing color. It's pretty faint, this particle effect, but you still get the idea of it. And we can go ahead and delete everything now. So that is how you would do it for a person. But if you do 4 slash pp help, we can look at the commands in more detail. So let's go ahead and do 4 slash pp worlds, and that will tell you which worlds are disabled. If you do 4 slash pp effects, it will give you a list of all the effects. And then if you do pp styles, it gives you a list of all the styles we can use, which is pretty cool. So then if we do 4 slash pp fixed, it's going to give us a list of commands for all of the fixed particle effects that we can use. We do pp fix list it shows all the ones that exist and then we could do pp fixed remove and then whichever id we want let's go with five and that will delete the one with hearts in front of us so if we want to create one of our own there's a couple of ways of doing it either something we're looking at or xyz coordinates so if we do pp fixed then create followed by either xyz or your looking so let's go with looking for this one. We're looking at this gray block. This is where it's going to be. And obviously make sure you spell fix correctly. And then we are going to change the effect. So let's go with, which one should we go with? Maybe explosion or falling water firework. Looks good. And you can choose the style as well. So which one is best? A sphere. And as you can see, it is created around that block and it looks really nice. So make sure you're not staring into the ground or into a wall because this will kind of mess it up. Um, let's go ahead and create another one. So we're gonna put some blocks up. We're going to look at the block 
and then we're going to do the same command and we can choose a different effect this time so you can just hit tab and go through all of these ones let's go with portal for example and let's go with cube um, so this one looks really awesome it's kind of like a cuboid at an angle as you can see um, i've got two of them now so that is everything in game let's go ahead and go to the config files and see what we can change in there so here we are in the sm picnic control panel and as you can see we have a few files and a folder in the lang folder we have a choice of all these different languages that we can select in the config file then we have the preset groups at the bottom so in here we have the three default groups that we saw in game so rainbows angel and rain cloud and as you can see with each one of these we have a display name a gui icon whether there are permissions and whether you can override it and then obviously the different effects styles and the color the data so if you want to edit these you can if you want to create more it's very simple just copy and paste an existing one change the name and change the effects and styles it's as simple as that um, and then you can have up to 28 different groups um, so you can just create your own so let's go back out of that and go into the config.yml so there's a few things we can change in here so we're on version 6.6 .6. whether we want to check for updates probably good to leave that on what language file we want to use scroll down a bit more we have the prefix whether we want to actually show that in chat and here it is player particles looks pretty nice do we want to enable the GUI? So the GUI is very handy. Instead of typing out all the commands, you can just have a few clicks, uh, which makes it much easier. Do we want to have a sound in the GUI? And then toggle on moves. This is pretty useful. Do you want styles to be displayed when people are moving? Um, they could get quite annoying, so maybe set that to true. Then we have the toggle on move delay, which is nine ticks. So that's pretty much half a second, so very quick. And then we've got a list of disabled worlds. So you probably don't want this for factions, for example. Then the max amount of particles, the max amount of groups, and the max amount of fixed effects per player. Scroll down a bit more, we have the max creation distance, which is 32 blocks. You could set this to infinite if you want, but obviously um, the less is better. And then we have the render range for each player, which is 48 as well. Then the rainbow cycle speed of two. Um, you probably don't need to mess around with many of these numbers, to be honest. And down at the bottom, we have a database which you can configure, but you don't need to. Then we have the GUI icons. So we've got all of these that we will see in the GUI, but obviously you don't need to touch it at all. So that's everything in the config files and folders. Then if we go over to the spigot page, you can see there are some really cool images, loads of information. We've got a GIF of all the different styles. So you can have a look here, see what you can do with it. There's loads of different things because it's just a fantastic plugin. So if you want to download it, hop over to the spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.